I just love being on the lake. I love Lake Superior and I love being out there and get a few hang nets out there and just, uh, just my life. It's God's creation. So, it's pretty special. They get up in the morning, go out there just as soon as it's light enough to see and every morning I see the sun rise and what more can you ask for, huh? <laughs> But then sometimes it's dirty, dirty stormy out there too, and, and uh, people think I'm crazy. Palm Sunday in 1935, and they went on the lake to run some nets four miles off the lake. And it was 60 degrees that day, so they didn't even take a jacket with them out. And, uh, sudden Northwester came up, like it's starting to blow right now. And they were found 10 days later over at Cornucopia, Wisconsin. Tied themselves to the boat, so evidently they knew what would happen, so that they'd find the bodies, and they froze to death. And it just dropped from 60 degrees to 10 degrees and started snowing in one hour. Back in the early 50s is when reserve mining start building their plant up there, and they start dumping in October of 55. And uh, by 56, August, August 27th of 56, that's when the dirty water reached our place and went beyond. And it, every year it was getting worse and worse and the herring just disappeared. They had to quit dumping in the lake in 84 and now the herring are starting to show up again. It gets a little better every year. So things are looking up. It's going in the right direction now. And I think now people are more uh, keep in mind the environment and keep try and keep the air and the water clean. Hope so. Hopefully, we never have nothing like that again. Mm -hmm.